Hi y'all. Today I'm going to make a slimline card made with diamond press tropic dies. And keep watching because you'll see a really easy tip for making the title really stand out. And don't forget to subscribe. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, let's get started. I've already prepared a card base and this is three and a half by eight and a half. Be sure to watch the video um, on my channel. It's been viewed way over a thousand times. Makes me so proud. And also we're using the Diamond Press Tropical Foilage die set, which I've cut a lot of the leaves already. And I just want to have more than I need so I have plenty to choose from. And I throw the dies on this Spellbinders magnet while I'm working. That way I'm just not distracted by dies flying all over the place. And this is my card stock. It is from Hobby Lobby. There's texture on one side, it's smooth on the other. A perfect weight for this kind of project. So I'm going to be cutting a few of the dies, excuse me, a few of the flowers from this die set and uh, pick just some of these tropical colors, orange, peachy, some yellow thrown in there. I use a um, little piece of washi tape to stick my dies down as they're going through the, the folders and that's just because those folders tend to bend and then the dies will slide off if they're not secured because I use these folders over and over again until well I just keep using them. I haven't thrown not even one away yet. And then um, I have a pottery tool that I use to poke to find that one little hole and it is an instant release. I mean these these dies are magnificent. I don't even they're just wonderful. Especially if you're using a really uh, great cardstock that kind of matches what you need uh, as far as the weight. Okay, so this is a total experiment. I'm going to use the Hello title. It's a die that came in this set and I picked up some, it's a big sticker sheet basically, a piece of vinyl from Hobby Lobby and it's right next to all the, the rolls of vinyl and then here's some 1 8 inch foam and that's from Joann's and I'm going to stick the two together and run it through the marquee and see what happens. And I'm going to use my human ruler to measure up this, this foam and cut a piece. Just measuring it up here. It looks like about two inches by three and a half or a little over three inches. And what I like about this vinyl, it, it's not real glossy. It's almost a matte, but it's not. And I will tell you the hardest part for me was just getting that paper off the back. I don't know what, I think I uh, just couldn't get my nail in there to, to get it out. I mean, to, to peel it apart. But I'll get it. It's off camera right now, but I eventually get it. Nope, that's not going to work. I think my nail polish is too thick. Maybe that, that was a problem. Anyway, I eventually get it and peel it apart really easily and then just slap it on that piece of foam and give it a quick smooth then I just lay it in my folder lay the die in the folder 
on top of the foam. And it looks like I need to flip that folder around again just because I've used it a lot. It doesn't affect the cutting at all. It's just a carrier. It doesn't leave an impression or anything from those uh, cut uh, impressions. I mean, it doesn't damage the paper in any way. Okay, I have to say, this is like the best part of this whole card is seeing that this worked. And it pulls away from the foam, or the foam pulls away from the the sheet really easily, but you can't just rip it out. You just have to work it out. So I've been on this tropical kick, and I love flamingos. I love all those leaves and the pineapples and all that that goes with that summer vibe feel. And I started counting up how many flamingos I had, which was plenty, whether it's a stamp or a die and all these tropical leaves. But this set is by far just everything I need as far as all the, the foliage. Is that, is that the right way to say it? Foil, foliage? The leaves, you know. Okay, so I'm going to attach these flowers with the glue dot and then I'm going to play around with the placement on the card and I'm going to put on some nice music and you'll just watch my fingers again work really really fast and I fiddle around and decide not to use all those flowers I mean come on I have plenty for another card let's put it that way okay Okay, so I press the title down with just a heavy, you know, stamp positioner, and that seems to work. And I'm adding a few Nouveau drops just to the center of the flowers. I'm not going to overdo it. If you like this video, please subscribe and give me a thumbs up. That really does help my ego when I make these cards. And I'm also going to take some liquid adhesive and just stick down those uh, some of those leaves 
just a little bit more securely. Let's get one more look at this. I just love the dimensions and that curl to the flowers and the leaves really added a lot to this card. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.